Welcome to my second tutorial on HDR footage using Magic Lantern and Sony Vegas. I will be using HDR footage captured at 60 frames per second using a Canon T3i or 600D and Magic Lantern. The technique I will show you today gives you a lot of control over how the overexposed and underexposed images are blended together in the resulting HDR clip. Okay, so let's begin. First, let's create a new project and set the time frame to 30 frames per second. Drag your HDR file to the timeline and right click on the clip and go to properties. You can see that this is a 60 frames per second clip. What you want to do is disable the resample and set the playback rate to 0.5. You don't have to resize the clip, but I'll just show you the clip is now twice as long as it originally was because of that playback rate. Right click and copy this clip. Right click on an empty area of the timeline and select insert video track. Then right click on that new track and paste the clip on this track. Now look at the first frame of the track. I'll just zoom in on the timeline. You can see that the first frame is a dark or underexposed frame. You want the first frame of the bottom track to be an overexposed frame. So I'll just go ahead and trim the first frame of that second track. Now go back to the properties and set the play playback rate to one. I'll need to re resize my clip, but you don't really have to do this. And let's hide the uh, top track for a moment. You see that the bottom clip is now entirely overexposed. So do this for both clips. Playback right to one, then resize the clip. And I'll just, uh, I'll un unmute the top track as the clip is now entirely overexposed. The bottom one is overexposed and the top one is underexposed. What you will do is you will take the underexposed areas from the top track and make them transparent so that in the end those areas are taken from the bottom track without affecting the areas that are correctly exposed in the top track. To make the dark areas transparent, add the chroma keyer effect. Now click in the color box and select a shade of dark gray. You want to select a shade that leaves some dark areas in the image. This doesn't have to be perfect right away. You can always go back and make adjustments to the color later. Just click outside the box to close it. Now move the blur amount up. You want to see, you can see the effect it has on the image right away. Here I'll just bring the high threshold down a bit to keep more of the highlights from the top track. And there it is. You can see the difference between the underexposed image and the HDR resulting image. To keep more of the overexposed highlights, I'll lower the high threshold a bit and improve the blending between the two tracks just a little. If your click looks a bit washed out you can modify the color curve to give it more contrast just add the color curves effect to your clip bring the highlights up a bit and lower the dark a little so here it is so before the underexposed clip and after the HDR resulting clip. And let me throw in a short sample of the clip at different stages of the creation of the HDR then. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.